right side. I was taking the train. I was taking my sister at that time. Mm -hmm. um, so I was taking the train, and there was this parents. Uh, I guess uh, they they were like, okay, I, I I found a seat, right? Someone actually led me to a seat. So I sit down, and uh, there was a, on my right hand side. There was this mother and uh -huh. child, a daughter, uh -huh. and so uh, the daughter was like sitting quite close to me, uh -huh. and I mean they spoke in Mandarin, mm -hmm. which I understand. And I was if something goes like this. Uh, don't sit too close to uncle. Oh, you know, if okay. not, you'll become blind. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. So I just did this natural thing. I turned around and look at the mom. I said, "What?" I went, "What?" I spoke to him. What? Oh, okay. What did you say? And I said, "So you?" So I, I took my. I was being very cheeky at that time, you know. So I took my hand and touched her. Touched the mom's hand. Dish. Are you blind now? You know? Oh. Yeah. So are you blind now? I said. So and I, I, I went on further. I said, "Look, I mean, don't, don't give misconception about me." You know, the Singapore government is not going to so kind to let you be uh, moving around, you know, mm -hmm. if it, it's something, uh, uh, you know, blindness is like transferable, you know. Mm -hmm. I still, so that was a very sad thing for me actually. And, but I just took it as a joke, I just laughed it off mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, I think public awareness is not there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was quite sad in that sense because I guess um, I'm talking about young kids where you need to create awareness mm -hmm. that life is not everything but perfect. Yeah, there's some flaws. Yeah, I mean, mm. yeah. yeah. So mm. these tech tiles and um, these guides have mm. helped you navigate through train stations. It, Maybe mm. you, you could mm -hmm. tell us more about uh, what you wish uh, sighted people can do when mm. they see you on the road, like in train stations or bus stops or traffic mm. junctions. Mm. So maybe what role can they play in assisting you uh, in doing these tasks? The most important thing I always say, be my eyes, mm. be our eyes, mm. because they are the one who are, you guys are the one who actually can be able to see, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so be our eyes and the best thing is always approach us mm -hmm. by using audible, because we are, we just always listen, audio. Audio, Yeah, okay. like introduce yourself, like, mm -hmm. hi, do you need any help, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, how can I, how can I assist you, how can I help you, mm. instead of just grabbing us, mm. pulling us by our back, I see. So our that, cane. That would be a shock to it you was, well. Yes, it mm. is because don't forget that every time I'm walking, I'm actually mind mapping in my head, mm. yeah, the route that I go, yeah, mm. so it's like, you know, it's a shocking thing. So that is what, uh, when I come across people, uh, I mean, passerby who, who wants to help, but they help in the wrong way. Mm. So I come across people actually grab me by my neck, at the back oh. of my neck, uh, pull my back, mm. pull my cane, and explain to them, um, you know, don't, don't, don't do, don't do that. Especially the cane. Never pull us by the cane, because the cane is actually like, um, like a science of balance for us. Mm. Because we need to feel the ground, uh, just in front of us or anything. I so it's see. like a, it's like a balance tool for us. Mm. So you put the cane, it's like you are dragging us. A great advice to people who are actually listening to this or watch this video. Mm. Um, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, Whatever situation you're in, you know, there's always a solution. Mm. It's just that you have to find find the correct way mm. to find the solution. No roads are always smooth. That's beautifully said. Yeah. Thank you so much. No worries. Thank you. Thank you.